What's up, everyone? It's your boy Norn Rad 89 here, bringing you another rad movie review. Today, we're going to be talking about Willy's Wonderland, directed by Kevin Lewis and starring Nicolas Cage. It's a new horror, like thriller, kind of crazy comedy film that just came out. It's on Amazon Prime, so let's talk about it. Non spoiler review, roll it. So, Willy's Wonderland is a new, like, horror kind of comedy thriller film starring Nicolas Cage. He plays this kind of drifter, loner guy who doesn't really talk. He's the protagonist character whose car breaks down. Someone offers to fix his car, or pay to fix his car if he stays overnight and cleans Willy's Wonderland, which is kind of like a Chuck E. Cheese type place with all these crazy animatronics where you have, like, pizza parties and stuff like that. But what he doesn't know is there's a very, very dark secret about this place. So let's get down to talking about the positives of this film. So right away, one of the key positives is the director and writer definitely nailed down a certain vibe for this film. You could definitely feel it. It has kind of like a nostalgic, old school kind of 80s slasher feel to it with a lot of the tropes going on in this film and everything. And like I said, they set up the vibe with the way they did the production design and the way it looks and everything like that. The music they decided to go with and stuff like that. It really kind of sets the tone for that setting kind of makes you feel like you're in like this wild Chuck E. Cheese crazy dream nightmare place with these demon animatronics that just come to life and kill you and slaughter you and stuff so it's definitely got this really cool vibe to it very grind housey type feel to it so that's pretty cool I like that some of the stuff like the scenes and the way it looks it has like a, almost like a game type vibe or like um just like a Scott Pilgrim -y type feel almost sometimes. It's like, you know, the way they shot it, the way it looks, sometimes it kind of has that feel. Like it's almost unrealistic, but it's realistic at the same time you're watching real actors. So that was kind of cool. I thought that was pretty interesting. And like I said, it's just a story that's like one of those interesting films that's going to keep you there. It's not going to make you think a lot. You're going to be able to shut off your brain. It doesn't ask a lot of the audience, so that's what's really cool. Sometimes it's really nice to just be able to sit there and enjoy the film, you know, that you don't have to think about a lot and have to dive into. And you're like, oh, we'll follow every moment. You know, this isn't one of those kind of movies and stuff. Pacing is something that's pretty fast paced. It's one of those films that just kind of keeps going and going, you know what I mean? It doesn't really take time to slow down. There's not a lot of character development or anything like that. So it just has this very steady pace, moves on throughout the whole film. And it's, I think about like an hour and a half. It's like right around an hour and 20, hour and a half. So it's like re pretty short for a film, you know, or average now, you know, average mil films now are like two hours long and stuff like that. So this one's a little shorter on the runtime. So it's not going to demand you sitting on the couch too long or anything like that. So let's get down to talking about some of the negatives of this film. And I did have fun with this movie. I did enjoy it and everything, but there are some key negatives and they definitely stick out for sure. For me, one of them is the characters. They're like, I understand it's like an 80s slasher type trope vibe that they went for and the, the teenage characters kind of fit that 80s feel like the way the, a lot of the characters were back then but I didn't really like the teenage characters that much and with Nicolas Cage being a silent protagonist in this film it kind of hurt the film for me because Nicolas Cage I think he does better when he's bouncing off other actors even if they're just like small time B-list actors or they're not big name people like I think he just does better bouncing off of other actors even if you just give him a few lines like I could have seen like him not talking a lot but having like, you know, five or six like short one liners or funny lines in the movie, they could have done that and it would have been perfectly fine. Also, some of the kills in this movie are very just generic. The way they're filmed, the way they're shot and everything, it's kind of like for three or four of the kills in this film, it's very similar, you know, just him smashing down the animatronics, beating the crap out of it and then like ripping its head off. Like it's kind of that same kill. The same way it's shot, it's just different locales and areas where they're fighting, but it's very generic and simplistic in that way. So I wish they would have spent more production value on some t some awesome kills, some better pay shots, you know what I mean? Like those payoff moments, you know, when you like see the kills, you know, as a horror fan, I like those moments, you know, I like some really good gore in this film kind of, I felt like they didn't have enough production value money to really put into that section of the film and it kind of hurt it a little bit. And like, as I said, Nicolas Cage being a silent protagonist, I think that hurt the film 
And it just would have been better and funnier, I think, if he could have bounced off other actors and stuff like that. Because he, in my opinion, isn't one of those dudes that can do a silent role and like really express things through his mannerisms and everything. So, But overall, I still think this was a me. I had a good, mediocre, good time with this film. In my book, it's going to get a 6 out of 10. So I definitely recommend it's on Amazon Prime. You know, check it out. See what you guys and what if you like it and everything. Definitely hit me up in the comments section. Let me know what you all thought of the film and everything. And I hope you all enjoyed this rad movie review. Go check out some of my other view, uh, videos. I have cards in the top right corner and everything. So you go click on those. I got other rad movie reviews. I also do gaming content and everything. So don't forget to hit that icon in the bottom right corner and subscribe. Have a safe and happy day, guys. Peace out.